So guys, welcome back to Farm for Life. Really excited for this one. Um, obviously, I'm in Ireland. Uh, look at this bloody grass behind us. Beautiful stuff. Um, there is this place is unreal, man. Um, honestly, it's like a like a million years old. Far out. There's so many rock walls. It's crazy. Uh, but anyway, guys, today we're going to be heading out um, to to a farm today. Really excited. Going to be catching up with Bill. Um, Bill's going to take us around his farm and also Paddy. Um, so cheers very much, guys. Thank you very much for everyone that's um, offered to take me around their farm um, in Ireland. So really humbled to um, to be going around to these farms and learning their systems. So stay tuned. Can't wait. We're just heading out there now. Just starting carving over here. I know at home we're really dry. Um, everyone's looking into you know drying off their cows and um, getting everything dried off on the crop and whatnot. But um, over here they're just getting into things and I'll uh, just see how the system goes over here. So bloody excited. Stay tuned guys. Peace. So we're obviously in Ireland and I just decided to drive just south of Limerick down to a little place called Kilmallock. So guys, we are at Crinigree Dairies and uh, they're right in this at the start of carving and uh, the milkers have just come out of this paddock. Check out the quality of this farm, man. Look at that. Not a weed in sight. Beautiful grazing residuals. So we've got our silage stack over there. The boys are taking the silage from the stack and pushing it up against the rails here where the girls are reaching through and pretty much ad-lib fed um, all through winter, got a little bit of roughage down the end there. Girls in tip top condition leading into calving. So in the shed we have got everything. We've got the, the cows, dry cows, um, putting on condition score. We've got the springers down the back there. So these are our springer girls. Hi girl. Once they've been drafted out from the springer mob, they're put into these girls here. So these girls are like the springer, springer, springer mob where they carve down onto the straw. Really nice bedding. Once they've carved, they transitions onto grass out on the paddock there. Um, and then they, they, at the moment, they just brought the girls in now. Um, these are colostrum girls just coming into the shed. Cheer, brother. The so the bro's just chucking the <laughs> cups on these girls. Got their tailpaint system, pretty much the same system as we run back in NZ. Um, so, yeah, really, really interesting operation there. They got in shed feeding. Um, and this is the is. lane that the girls walk in um, to come into the cow shed. Old mate's just scraping the lane there. So good sheds, good facilities. As you can see, these calves have got ad lib everything, straw, meal, milk, uh, water, and hay. Um, and look at them. Can't wait for them to carve down at home so we can get into it. What's up guys? Uh, welcome back to Farm for Life. Obviously uh, we've just viewed the farm and uh, look pretty spick and span. Shit, that's a big cow in the background there. <laughs> Jesus. Look at those two bulls too. So guys, we're, um, where are we today? So at the moment we're in uh, Moor Park in Cork, County, uh, County Cork in Ireland. Yep. Uh, this is the main dairy, Chagas, the Chagas Research Centre for Dairy Farming in Ireland. So if uh, we were to relate that back to New Zealand, what would that be in New Zealand? Uh, so yeah, we're, I suppose we're equivalent to Dairy NZ or Ag Research in New Zealand, kind of the two organisations combined. Oh, so beautiful. Uh, we're researching here about grass, cows, calf rearing, fertility, economics, people, um, the dairy industry in Ireland said about 1.4 million cows, increase yep. of 50% of milk production in the last few years. And uh, so I'm researching here and I'm also a partner in Kernigree Dairies and it was a pleasure having Mr. T out on the farm earlier on. <laughs> awesome to see a couple of followers here too, uh, yeah. out milking the cows. So beautiful farm you're running there too, beautiful pastures. And who's this handsome man over here? This is, uh, I'm Bill, I'm a dairy farmer. Um, so yeah, we're running four dairy farms uh, with three share milkers, so yeah. And how's, uh, how's, you guys uh, just started calving, so how's calving going so far? Uh, yeah, we're about 50%. Look, it's a really good year. I suppose last year was a tough year. We had a big, uh, I suppose it was a cold spring, cold long spring, and then a big uh, big drought after that. So yeah, we have plenty of fodder on the farm. Cows are in good nick, and the weather has been very kind. So yeah. You do and get droughts in Ireland. <laughs> it's very wet here at the moment, very yeah. wet. So um in terms of staff, how's your staff going? You, yeah, everyone happy? Yeah, yeah. We, I, I suppose, look, we spend an awful lot of time on, on, um, I suppose, purpose and values, and um, yeah, I don't know if I want to bore you with that. Um, but yeah, we've fourteen people employed. I think our annual tenure is thirty-two months. Yep. 
Um, in the last 12 months, we've actually gone up four months. We've managed to retain our people. So, you know, um, yeah, our yeah, longest, yeah. longest retained person is with us 14 years. You're paying them too much. <laughs> 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 so, um, in terms of your guys' milk production, say over the last five years, mm. um, how much milk, how much more milk is Ireland producing over the last five years than, you know, compared to what you're producing now annually? Mm. So, in, in Ireland, in 1984, we had milk quotas. So, we had 30 years where milk production in the country was capped. 2015 yep. milk quotas were removed. We were producing about 5 billion litres at the time. Yep. And we're gone to 7.5 billion litres today. So that's yep. about 50% uh, of all the milk, I think, that's produced in New Zealand is about 20 billion. So less than 50% of the milk that's produced in New Zealand. But still a 50% increase in what we were producing in Ireland before. Is there a 50% increase? 50% increase, yeah. Which, is, which has meant an awful lot for uh, rural Ireland. Uh, yep. There's about 40% more people employed on dairy farms today than there was. 40%. 40% increase in people employed on farms. Um, you know, and I suppose Ireland is grass based, similar to New Zealand. And what's really important is we've increased milk production by 50%, but we haven't changed our cost of production. So yep. all that milk is still coming from grass because we were quite lowly stocked. Uh, so I think the industry is in a pretty good place going forward. Yeah, well, I, I, I suppose I would say that it's probably a unique period in, in mm. Irish agriculture at the moment. The opportunities, mm. in, in, it won't be there in 10 years' time. Do you yeah. know, the removal of quota has created massive opportunity for young farmers. Mm. So if you're a if you're a young Kiwi and uh, wanting to I suppose work. get some life experience work. Work. life experience <laughs> and work for a shitload of money and um, stay in um, Ireland for how long? Thirteen years. That's it. Fourteen. <laughs> Fourteen. Yeah. So he's proud of that one. So if you're a young New Zealander and you want to um, you know get life experience, um, you know, travel way the hell over there, honestly it's a long flight, so break yourself. <laughs> Where can we try and get jobs over okay, here in so, Ireland? So only the good rugby players? <laughs> <laughs> well Honestly. shit, I made it here so can't be too good. So if I'm a young fellow in New Zealand uh, wanting to come to Ireland yeah. and, and um apply so for actually a job. A, a really good initiative that started over the last two years is uh, there's New Zealand and dairy careers which brings people from other countries to New Zealand but they're now collaborating with a group in Ireland called the Farm Relief Service and I think the six Kiwis actually came over this spring awesome. uh, for to do a year's experience. Is that why you, um, you guys bit the All Blacks for a little bit? Yeah, 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 yeah. a bit of extra confidence. Oh awesome, so I can put a link guys, I'm going to put a link um, in the comments box below um, if you guys want to go and check that out but um, other than that thank you very much it's been an awesome you. experience here on your guys farm in uh, Ireland and um, unfortunately I couldn't get out to your farm but yeah, yeah. I'm guessing it was just as good looking as you um, and that cow in the back there they didn't milk that cow for three days <laughs> that's why her bag's so good and uh, she's also on heat so good job guys cheers guys